Jimmy's back. Yes. Yes, I am. Back from his big uh, uh, Kentucky Derby. Yes, in Los Angeles. Yeah. Los Angeles. How was uh, the Kentucky Derby? It was cool, man. It was uh, everyone now. It, it's like Mardi Gras, but it's it's so much tamer and everybody's nice. It's like what you want Mardi Gras to be. Like everybody's uh, clean and there's no fucking and white violence. <laughs> yeah, a lot more white people, but <laughs> even the black people that are betting horses are not. It's not like Mardi Gras where it's a free for all. You know, everybody's yeah. just fucking. It's one big party, obviously. One hundred sixty-four thousand people there. I mean, it was a lot. It was a Damn. fucking madhouse, and. Uh, we had access to everybody, to all the jockeys, fucking, uh, God. I see, wow. to me, they're not a big deal, but I got to go into, like, the, to the jockey, where, like, a lot of you didn't see most of the footage, they didn't show, but I, I talked to all 19 of the guys, and, uh, I was in the jockey locker room, which no one gets to go in. One of the cameramen came out and goes, you guys have to know how hard it is to get a camera crew back there. Wow. I didn't care. And my friend's a uh, fucking... Horse trainer, and she was fucking. She's like, I would have cried if I met him. I'm like, really? really? Uh, that, uh, who is he? Yeah, you no, know, he's a fucking a, a legend. I mean, there was some of the older ones I were, interviewed too. Were, were the little guys uh, walking around the locker room naked? No, <laughs> <laughs> giant cocks. On I them. bet you they do have big jockey you think cocks. You think they have big, <laughs> yes. fucking jockey cocks. You know how much you know, confident you have to be to be so slight of frame and controlling a horse? Those horses are fucking wild, man. They have to. They probably use their cock to balance them on the horse. <laughs> That's what they whip the horse with. Yeah, the cock whip its mane. Right. <laughs> but they people said that those horses are so fucking. Because I figured that they were trained well, but they're like they constantly have to have their fucking head held because they just run. You see when they try to get them in the gate, sometimes they just, they got to push those fucking they're things. Wild. And the second they close that last gate, bang, yeah. they're off. Let's if get they started. leave them in there too long, Something's those horses happen. go bullshit. Yeah, yeah they want to run, man. And uh, I got very close to one of them. I didn't pet it because... Uh, How close? Um, as close as a gentleman in Oregon? <laughs> yes, cl cl close enough to have my uh, my colon perforated. <laughs> 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 but it was fucking beautiful. This Are horse they called Mucho looking? Macho Man. Yeah, yeah Mucho yeah, Macho we, Man. We know Mucho Macho Man. Yeah, it was a beautiful, beautiful Mucho horse. Mucho Macho Man was in the money, right? Or at least placed top three. Yeah, top three. Animal Kingdom yeah. one, and I don't remember what the other two. Right, Mucho Macho Man. One of the one of the uh, favorites. Nero, I think. There. Nero. Yeah. Because I interviewed that guy too, and he fucking tickled my neck. Oh. Every one of them. I wish we could have a montage because I kept asking, "What would it take for me to be a jockey?" Probably 12 of them said you got to lose a lot of weight. I, <laughs> oh, shit. Everyone was telling me I was too fucking heavy. It was humiliating. I, I saw a show on jockeys once, and they, they go through, because it's so competitive to get a good horse that they actually have uh, eating disorders, and they vomit. And what? Shit hot like box. That. you got to get in the hot box, they say, which is the yeah. steam room. They're like fighters. They have to be a certain weight with their gear. How much do they weigh? weigh? Yeah. 110 to 117. With the yeah. gear? No, I think oh, 126 Jesus. with the gear. But they're like 110. They're, they're Sometimes very they'll legs. handicap a horse. They'll like add weight to the saddle if the jockey is too light and they right. want to handicap the horse because the horse is like right, right. rated at a... Uh, uh, but uh, but I, I've seen that where they actually do vomit. They puke the hot box. Yeah, it's it's like any other thing where you got to make weight. Mm. They get up on the scale, what, holding the, like the saddle and shit and everything. Get up on the scales. And make sure they're at the, at the proper yeah. weight. They're all little fellas. Do they blow off their underwear and stuff if they have to like drop a few ounces? <laughs> take a take, big, <laughs> take a big midget dump. <laughs> take their socks off. What do they do? There's, I'm sure there's some tricks. One guy had like a little dwarfism going, but most of them are just regular small dudes. Little they're not midgets. Guys. Yeah, yeah, they're, and they're all fucking ripped. But Every it, one of them is muscle, but, solid muscle. But I think if you're under uh, five foot, you're considered a midget, though. Mm. Some of them were five feet, five feet one. They were just tiny guys. Yeah. But you know, we all know what midgets and dwarves look like. They didn't have that. They, they looked like people, only small. They just looked like <laughs> they looked like when they shrunk the kid in fucking Willy Wonka. That's <laughs> like it's just an adult. Mike TV. Yeah, Mike TV, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What birth Mike? What birth defect is that that makes you a jockey? I don't. I honestly don't know if it is one or if you're just small. You don't I see think it's little, some kind you don't of see little people walking around issue like that. with the pituitary gland. Yeah, I believe it's a pituitary problem. You think with there the are, growth hormone? You think there are jockey families that just cut that piece out so yeah, they, it's like they can make, raise a make jockey? him a jockey. Just fucking <laughs> cut out his pituitary gland when he's four, <laughs> so he never grows any bigger. That's weird. Yeah, they were all such little guys. Uh, and, yeah. and what about the hats? Uh, uh, everyone had the. Do you know who Pat Day is? Pat, Who? Pat Day. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, uh, isn't he, uh... uh Chris McKellen or McCarron. Do you know who those guys, they're like, uh, guys I talk to, I have no idea who they are, but apparently they're like, like two of the five best ever. They're uh, jockeys, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, I, don't, I know. don't know that world, yeah, man. Yeah, is, is big and... Yeah, yeah, they they're they're huge. Thank you, Kenny. He's won like eight thousand races huge. that fucking day. He's an older guy. He's retired, mm -hmm. but it's like you don't. It's almost like someone who didn't know who Jeter and and fucking uh, uh, David Cohn were. Oh, in that talking to them and going, "What? Oh, really? They're big? I didn't even." Like, yeah, that's what it's like. Because I talk to people who know racing, and they're like, "Those guys are fucking." They're legends, right? I had no idea. I used to bet like in. Uh, Late '80s and stuff. It was an Thank OTB you. right next to where I worked, and I remember hearing those names back then. That an Angel Cordero, Cordero's racing, and they would they would parade the horses around like right before they went out to post time. They'd go around this arena area, so you'd be able to actually stand around it and look and see how your horse looks before you make that last bet. Yeah, but what are you see, looking for, as Joe I Schmo? Know, I know Joe Schmo. You look. You're actually looking. What would you look for, Ant? Be honest. I'd look to see if uh, the horse was stepping real high, uh -huh. like nice, and, and didn't look sluggish. His nostrils were wide the fuck open because mm -hmm. they give him that goddamn drug and make their nostrils open real What's fucking that, like wide. like Afrin for horses? Makes yeah, them yeah, yeah. It makes uh, them breathe like crazy. It's Afrin. And yeah. their, their eyes look like they're fucking <laughs> petrified. They're just, Rah! You want a horse that looks like he's just going to go bat shit. Did he you know that they tape, up? they tape their tongues? I didn't know that. They have fucking tongues when they Tape walk. their tongues. Because we were in the paddock, and like I'm like, why are they... Oh, 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 oh. They all look like blithering retards. And I'm like, <laughs> why are their tongues hanging out? And they're like, oh, they tape them. They have, to, they have to tape them down to the bottom part of their mouth so they don't choke on them or so they don't bite them off while they're running. Wow. I never knew that. Well, they treat the, the horse as The horse or the nice. jockey? The horse and the jockey. <laughs> the jockey's penis gets taped to his leg. Because <laughs> it's it giant. Sit on it. Yeah, so the, the girthier jockeys... <laughs> They would have, uh, the so the paddock area, you'd be able to look at them parading around and shit and look. And there was this uh, Angel Cordero, who was this little, tiny Mexican gentleman. Very successful uh, jockey. Oh, sure. I, I know the name. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the things people would yell out at him, though. I got money on you, you little fucking monkey. <laughs> you little fucking monkey. It really I got money on you, you bitch. You fucked me last race, you monkey. <laughs> they would call him a monkey. It sounds like, our, fucked up. sounds like our listeners. And he does look a little like a monkey. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, he, he was, like, huge, man. Yeah, I re Angel Cordero. I remember him. I remember uh, Willie Shoemaker. Shoe, going way back. The shoe. Yeah. Willie the shoe. I bet on the shoe. He was on uh, Wild World of Sports. That's why I know him, yeah. I guess, right? Willie the shoe. And, well, who, was the, who was the jockey that... Stevie Coffin. Thank you. Oh, yes, right. That's that what I was guy. going for. The young jockey. He was supposed uh, to be like uh, a huge success, but then he went to England, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. And did a lot of his racing over there, so... so did he win the Triple Crown, or did he I win like know. a couple of legs of the Triple Crown? The last horse to do it was, I think, Secretariat, right? In like 73? No, Secretariat, uh, after that, they've had Triple Crown winners. But as horses or just jockeys? Uh, oh, you mean like the jockey riding the same horse for all three races? I don't know. No, I, I just. I'm not sure either. I don't know if I'm I, really some, sure. one, there was one guy, the guy that won Velasquez, who won. This was he was supposed to ride fucking Uncle Mo, huh? <laughs> but um, Uncle Mo got scratched, scratched because of his stomach or intestinal problems, and he, they literally just threw him on that fucking horse. So I guess there was a problem with the jockey on that horse where they didn't like him. Uh, affirmed, yeah, affirmed. You know, one of the jockeys died. Right? 1978. No, yeah, one of the guys you interviewed. No, TJ in Albany. I swear to God, I'm not fucking with you. I, I, I think it happened overnight. It's one of the one of the uh, news stories today. TJ in Albany, you got something on this? What? Yeah, I just heard that. Um, He's right. I'm, yeah, go ahead, sir. Jockey, the jockey that finished second, he they found him dead in his car at four o'clock in the afternoon after the race. The was, next morning. The was next he morning. riding fucking? Uh, don't tell me he wasn't Nero? riding fucking narrow, was he? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That guy was fucking. They, he never did interviews. He was the hard one to get. And he was a fucking fun dude. He was the cockiest one out of all of them. 24 years old. Yeah. 24 years old, yeah. What was his name? They're saying no foul play, or or they're not suspecting oh. that. Michael Bays. Yeah. Fuck it out, boys. Have a good one. Well, one of the guys you interviewed is now dead there, Michael Jimmy. Bays. Is it? Wait. That guy? You look familiar? No. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. I'll look it up, because I have a photo with, with a screen cap with all of them. I just, you know, again, I, I, it's rare you get a chance to do that. Little hummingbird heart give out? <laughs> yeah, he sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the guy I'm thinking of, though. No? Um, okay. No. I, I will say, hold on. 
No, that's not the guy who rode Nero. It is. Yeah, Bill. Hold on, I got more info coming in for you, Jimmy. Uh, Bill in Jersey, go ahead, Bill. Hello, Bill. Good morning, guys. Hey, man. Uh, yeah. So uh, I don't know. The guy stole the thunder, but you know, it's Michael Bays. He's apparently famous. Generations of jockeys. He was found dead in the parking lot of Churchill Downs overnight. So it's pretty much the same thing you already heard. But in the parking but, lot. But we're learning. It was definitely. He definitely rode uh, Nero. No, the, yeah, not, he, did he ride Nero in the race, or did Corey uh, Nori Corey uh, Nakatani? Oh, from what I read, he rode he rode Nero and he finished yeah. second. He won like one point two million over the, the past year, thirty two million dollars in winnings over his career. The guy who died no, did not he ride did not, in the no, Derby. He did, no, he didn't. Said. Nero was written by this. He rode Nero in February. The guy Corey Nakatani rode fucking Nero. That was the guy who was cocky and who tickled my chin, mm. uh, implying I had a fat neck. Oh, there's actually a little. <laughs> that, this is the guy who who uh, who rode Nero in the fucking in in the race. That that okay. little that little fucking muscular guy. Oh Jesus! Look at his arm, dude. They're fucking. He's, he's ripped. These guys are all. He's got bigger ripped. arms than you, Jimmy. All of them are solid muscle. I, I get of all the jockeys I talk to, I would say probably seventeen of them could kick the shit out of me, and the other two could beat me up with slightly more difficulty. <laughs> I'd be zero for nineteen against the jockeys. <laughs> fucking animals, these guys. Uh, and the chick was sexy. Rosie was uh, the one woman was she was fucking. Well, she yeah. sh she was short too, right? Yeah, dressed in her little pink gear. Yeah, she was very fucking hot. Yeah, the horse was uh, had pink shit on it. Yeah, so adorable. A pink mask, right? Oh, oh did, did it? I don't remember. Yeah, she was having Secretary a was the one that uh, was the last Triple Crown winner, people are saying. I'm no. saying that, yeah, from 73. Affirmed. Affirmed. Affirmed was 78. What about Seattle Slough? Seattle Slough. I think that was, was that supposed before? to be one, right? I think that was before 78, right? When you said affirmed, I really thought you were saying I was right. Oh, no. I meant the horse affirmed. <laughs> so stupid. I was so, so happy I thought I was right. I was so pleased. <laughs> yes, <myself>. affirmed. <laughs> Anthony, when I said that the horses were treated right, that was very sarcastic, Justin, in North Carolina. Ah. Uh, because mm. they treat the horses good, Ope. The horses are on parade with men who should have been aborted riding them while being whipped like they just refused to pick any more cotton. Yeah, treated real nice. Just oh, being sarcastic, stop. idiot. I'll say and these Kentucky Derby horses. They make it sound like they're, they're treated nice, but they are. These I, I don't think so. Kentucky Derby horses. If are, you're taping down your tongue, you're not being treated well, nice. Well, just so you don't bite yeah, it. Just for the race. But the, the beautiful the coat and the fucking health of these horses. You see the muscles on those Dude. fucking things? Like, like now you know why they're called thoroughbreds. Uh, they're amazing. You look at a regular horse, it's like, all right, that horse, even a strong horse, you go, wow, that horse is in good shape. Mm -hmm. A thoroughbred is a whole nother class. You could see the definition in every fucking muscle. And when they're running on the track, it really is amazing to watch. Shackelford was fucking... Was winning like the entire race, yeah, and then yeah. fucking just. Uh, and we interviewed the, the owner, and his two like sons are like handicappers, are like fifteen Your and twelve. Sons. Your sons are attempting to bring <laughs> black beauty, uh, <laughs> and uh, to see those guys after. Uh, I didn't talk to them after, but we saw them. Fucking depressed. Yeah, they, uh -huh. I felt like they had it. It's a long ass race. A fucking like mile and a quarter, like that. right? And then on the outside, fucking uh, Animal Kingdom. Animal wasn't, Kingdom. He came just from came a weird running up, turned it on at the end. It was amazing. You had to make up a lot of ground. That, that's Coming from the outside You like know that? what? There's yeah. such. It just looks like, oh, they just opened the gate and let him run, and whoever runs the fastest, no. The, that jockey held him back, and then uh, on the uh, top of the stretch, on the outside, Bam, the thing had, like, so much fucking energy left, it blew past all those other horses. We watched, it. we watched it in the media room. Um, I didn't, because right after the final shot had to be me talking to, to, to Vlad, the winner, whoever won. Right. So um, I, was, I had to go into the pad. It's, it wasn't easy to get into that area because everybody was trying to talk to the sure. guy. And I just fucking bogarted. All those years of annoying celebrities really came into fucking play. Man. Bogarted my way right in. The fucking, there was a guy, like, security walking with him going, no, no. It's almost like when Laura Bush's Secret Service tried to stop the kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, I guess it helps saying that you're with fucking Jay Leno. They don't uh, not, Yeah, it helped to get us in. That's what got us back there. NBC. But right? that didn't matter Nothing. in that moment. That, that security guy. But I had talked to him that day. 
I had talked to him yeah. that day, so he remembered me. So he we spoke yeah. very, very briefly. It was, was awesome. fun, though, man. It was they were all really fucking nice, and people that ran Churchill Downs were fucking nice. The I got to blow the fucking bugle. No, did you? They oh, wow, they didn't right. even show. They didn't. They cut that out. Yeah, I didn't see that. Oh wow, I, I forgot that. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Why would they cut that out? That's, that's no, 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 I didn't. I didn't actually get to blow it. It was a stupid bit. They, they had me blowing it, and they were playing fucking like Kenny G over. It was really <laughs> dumb. But, uh, I guess it just didn't. It work just didn't work. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we hey, shot hey, for two solid days. You met a lot of celebrities. I did, yeah. I, I, we interviewed a tremendous amount of them, and the only ones that made it were fucking Aaron Andrews, mm -hmm. and um. Who else? Uh, who else? There was Aaron Andrews and one other one made it, and and fucking Joy Fatone from InSync. But I had talked to Kate Goslin. I had talked to uh, fucking Wayne Brady. Uh, how's Kate Goslin? She was actually really cool, and her fucking tits looked amazing. Really? She dude, she was sexy in person. Really? Yeah. Really? Wynonna Judd. I talked to for about ten minutes. She was Wynonna. great. Which one? Is she the the fat Big girl? Daughter? Yeah. But they were they uh, but this. Fucking uh, Aaron Andrews was super sexy. This other model, I, you know, there was a, a few people I talked to. The ones who turned us down were, of course, the athletes. Of course, Aaron Rodgers said no for the, for an interview. Was he nice at least? Um, of the two quarterbacks that were there, uh, I heard Eli was there too. I did not see Eli, but uh, he was less of a dick. But um, like, he took a picture with me, and I had a football. Because I knew that like he was supposed to be there, Tom Brady was supposed to be there, and you Brad were hauling around a football while you're trying I, to do this piece for Jay Leno. Fuck yeah, <laughs> I love Dude, Jimmy. It was in, it was in that black bag. <laughs> I bet you he cared more about that football oh, than the fucking hell video. Hell yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> I have an Dude, idea at this point. Jimmy. I'll tell you why I did. Because I'm like, if it's gonna be fucking Brady, Bradshaw, and fucking Aaron Rodgers, the same thing. They're three Super Bowl MVP quarterbacks. What, um, why not get them to sign a ball? I'm oh, not going to sell it. No, I get yeah. it. I get it. So Aaron Rodgers, I was so fucking, he was so like putting us off. He didn't want to take the picture, but he did. And Jim Wise, who's the, who's a writer for Jay, he's fucking hilarious. And he's always on these things with me. I couldn't, I didn't have the, I pushed out on asking him to sign the football. Aww. And Jim's like, could you, he actually did it for me. And I opened up the bag real sheepish. And he, and he signed it for me. I, I, I was fucking, I was fucking Shelby sheepish. <laughs> I was so, I was so sheepish. But that's how I played around guys like that. So I'm more pathetic. Right. And then Tom Brady was the big one, and uh, I finally saw him there. And he was he with Giselle? Uh, no, no, he was with a bunch of guys who were fucking dicks. <laughs> oh the shit! The fucking. I, I want to say Brady was a dick. He wasn't nice. Like everyone I know who spoke to him said the guy was an absolute jerk. But I'll say this. I did kind of interrupt him while he was talking. Again, I was fucking... Oh, boy. I was fucking sheepish. Like... <laughs> and he did. He didn't want to. You could tell by the picture he wants nothing to do with this really? moment. Really? Can, can we see the picture? Yeah. I gotta see it now. But then I, I, I was like, and Tom, can I... But his, his one of someone in his entourage... Tom. And I was like, I'm like, could you sign me? Because I, th I thought he was going to say no. Because his friends are going, no more pictures, no more pictures. And who are those guys? One of them was his jerk-off manager or agent. And then a couple of his fucking jerk-off, we're friends with Tom Brady friends. Oh, God. But and I, you, and I, you were in a VIP area, right? Uh, yes. More or less? Yes. But... Uh, I, I will say that the guy, I didn't like Tom Brady. I didn't think he's a nice guy. But again, he did sign the football. He did take, it's like he he could have been a lot worse. And it's got to be, I kept trying yeah. to say, don't Twitter and bash the guy because he fucking did it. And maybe he was annoyed. He's talking to people. He's trying to have a moment. And you interrupt. All right, fine. I'm annoying. But his friends, his fucking friends were. They think they have the ability to. Motherfuck you because they're friends with it's this like guy. hey cocksucker. Yeah, you're with the talented guy You're not the talented guy. Yeah, you're not don't try to fucking Protect him like you're some fucking here's what you are your fucking leech entourage <laughs> Thinking they, they may have been players. I don't even know <laughs> like, they, they could have been a fucking wide receiver to tight were end they big guys and, Yeah, the couple of them were huge They might have known him from college or whatever and, and the one guy who was his manager agent was a fucking little twerpy douchebag Still a lot bigger than me and probably could have kicked the shit out of me, but uh, I hated those fucking guys Hated them yeah. and I saw them on the elevator the next night uh, and they were just fucking twat Tom was not, I can't say he was a twat. He just wasn't a particularly nice guy. 
He's like, you know, but again, he's quarterback. That, that, that fucking shitty lead singer mentality. Right. But I can't kill him and say he sucked because he did take the picture. Well, Brad T. in Kentucky. I ran into Tom Brady at the Derby four years ago, and he was the biggest dickhead ever. Fuck him. I, 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 I've heard over the years that he's not a nice guy. Everyone I've general. met thought that the guy, that, that he was a twat. And these are people who fucking, and the people, I'm not going to say, the people I was with meet everybody. Everybody they meet. And they were all saying that the guy, he was just not, look, but look at, but he did kind of, the picture, he was actually friendlier in the picture than I thought. Like, he did give me the dumb half a smile. It's like, he wasn't that bad. Yeah. He didn't frown. He tried to make a half a smile and he was annoyed. So I'm yeah, like, he's kind of like, mm, but, yeah, but it wasn't, the picture. yeah, it, it wasn't the fucking, the worst thing. So I'm like, I can't fucking just throw him under the bus now. Yeah, uh, um, that's a hurry up and take uh, the yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, again, I did interrupt him, so I was kind of. Oh, you still got a, a picture with Tom Brady, and I got him to sign the ball. I had to ask. Why it, is the ball here? Because I traveled with it from to LA. LA? This, yeah, this ball's been all over the place. Yeah. who had to who had to watch your ball as you were doing <laughs> Izzy, that Leno piece? Fucking Izzy, this dude who works for Jay. He's the guy, one of our coordinators. Like, uh, he's fucking. The, the guy would literally walk through Bin Laden's cave asking if we could fucking take shots. <laughs> he has no fucking... He doesn't care where we are. He just looks like he belongs and he really? battles through... Yeah, he's one of those guys that wow. can get you anywhere with a camera. Nice. That's, That's how amazing. He, he barrels through. But anyway, Izzy was in charge of guarding my football. And uh, all the celebrities were fucking... Wayne Brady was fucking... The comedians are always fucking nice. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that because I'm a comic, but those guys, he was great and friendly and... They were all okay, but uh, the athletes, I just don't like athletes, man. It's Except the MMA same guys. same fucking mm -hmm. bullshit. They're just, all of them are fuck. But then again, I talked to some guy from the Broncos, a black dude, who's a fucking really nice guy. Like, so it's like, now nah, I'm, I'm kind of mm. shooting my own dumb theory. Mm. If, well, you could always say, for the most part. For the most part. Are Douchebags. You've had bad experiences. Yeah, you know, and even Jenny from the block was nice to me when I saw oh, her. Oh, she didn't wow. remember me, of course. Oh, she didn't remember you? No, but we were on Leno together. Well, we were when she was with American Idol. Yeah, but then we got introduced again, and she was very nice. And on the way out, I asked for a photo, and she was like, "Sure, baby." She was so sweet. But this is why I, I will eventually take my own life, um, <laughs> <laughs> because literally, if you see us standing there, look at what a fucking I, just look at what a fucking, this is in the hallway, how fucking beautiful she is, and what a fucking mope I am. That was me, I was standing there waiting for her. She was walking by, I grabbed her, that's her turning around in mid-stride. I had fucking ten minutes to get ready. <laughs> she just like, she's glowing. Yeah, she she's like fucking a floating down the aisle, stop, yeah. lovely! And I'm standing there, and I just, whatever can go wrong with my fucking disgusting body goes wrong. I'm not, I'm not a big fan, but she looks really good in Dude, that picture. Dude, she is fucking... Oh, she's beautiful. The most beautiful she looks woman. She's good in that picture. She's really yeah. beautiful. And you can see my fucking friend Ross with his awful fucking perm. <laughs> <walking> <laughs> <by> <laughs> So it was fun, man. I had I had a I had a fun uh God it damn she's fucking good. pretty, man. It sounds like you had a great little time. I, I did. It was a very Joe. fun uh jet setter. Very fun hanging trip. Hanging with the rich and famous and elite. No, bothering them. Not hanging uh, with any oh, of them. Oh. <laughs> the only one that was genuinely like I think happy to talk to me, like cause he was was uh was Wayne Brady. Because yeah. again, he's like, he's fucking Does he know you? I think he did. I could kind of tell he did. Um Again, with those guys, I always assume they're going to. Yeah. So uh, you can usually... I, I felt like Wayne did. I could be wrong. Mm. But just comics tend to yeah, be yeah, aware yeah. of each other, I guess. There's a vibe. Aaron I Andrews. Think. I didn't realize who she I was until after. I'm like, oh my God, that's the one. Yeah, man. We did a lot of fucking uh, radio on her. She was very attractive. Oh, yeah. Fucking hot. Oh, wow. oh, you, oh. oh yeah. fuck who had a body on her, man. Holy shit. Lindsay Vaughn. Do you know who she is? The skier, Olympic oh, skier? Oh, yeah, of course. But doesn't she have really? big legs? Dude, ju she is fucking... Juicy? Patrice would kill his firstborn for her, and I loved her. She was like fucking juicy. Lindsay Vaughn was fucking... Her, Some of them bikini pics. Oh, was she? Oh, wow. She's probably like fucking, I want to say 5'10 or 5'11. Like, her body. Oh, well, you know something? That's, is, uh, not I bad. can't looks tell pretty, you uh, pretty good how right good there. that body is. She probably had the nicest body there. How <laughs> wow. thick her ass and legs were. She is amazingly sexy. Yeah, she oh, got, look at that. Pulling down some meat the, on her. That, but that's a fucking the body. Yeah, yeah, juicy yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. body, man. You get a wow. picture with her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, I didn't know who she was. 
Really? Well, look at that one. Yeah, you can kind of tell. Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah. look at that. Wow. Yeah, she's, dude, her fucking ass and legs, all that skiing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Love to just smooch her. <laughs> <laughs> give, her a little, smooch. give her a little smooch a You want to smooch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I met a lot of very oh. uh, fun people. Kate was lovely. Good and, for you, uh, Jimmy. Yeah, it was a fun... Uh, the Kentucky Derby. God, I would have loved to go to that. And some, Fred, of, some of these big sporting events I want to go to so bad. You should that's, go down. That's, that's one. Augusta's another <clears throat> for the golf. Dude, why mm. not go down? It, it, was, it was fun. It was uh, crazy, but it was, it was worth going. Mm -hmm. um, why not do it next year? I, I would go back. I mean... We should. I don't have any real desire to watch the race, but... Um, once again, Ant, we did not do the annoying 30 seconds. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, Jimmy just got back, and we had to talk so, about... Uh, can we take a break that? and get this done? All right. Right when we come back, Jimmy, ladies we still and haven't announced the winner of the <laughs> most annoying 30 okay, seconds. Okay, cool, because when we, come, we got really busy. And uh, when we come back, I'll discuss how annoyed I am at Continental. And Joe Torrey was on my flight. Oh! Yeah. You had a picture with Joe Torrey before, no? I, I, that's why I didn't get one today, but I could hear him talking... Baseball, two seats behind me. He's like, hey, he struck out twice. He was like, he was with like his, I want to say his grandson or his and nephew. That guy just shut up about baseball, though. But I'm like, I'm listening to Joe Torrey. <laughs> just talk baseball. Yeah. And I'll just tell you briefly, I was going to, I was, I wanted to just, I'm like, I'm, I have my camera ready, but then I'm like, nah, you already got a shot with him. You don't need uh, another one. Um, so I'm walking, we're all walking off the plane and we're walking down the fucking thing towards baggage claim. And I'm like, I know what I'm, I'm just going to go, Joe, thanks for all the great years in New York. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I, I said, oh no! I said, what else could I say to him? I, I he really did as a Yankee fan. He he fucking gave me a tremendous amount of joy. Oh, joy. oh yes, he really did. Joe Torre gave me a lot of fucking one happiness. of the greatest Yankee skippers ever. Hey, Honestly, was. Yes. You want to guess how this ends? Uh, <laughs> not, not great. I, not but, the way Jimmy wanted. But, not but, the way Jimmy had it in his, in his head. head. No. Not as badly as it could have. Yeah. I, here's what I thought would happen. I would go, Joe, thanks for all the great years. And he would go, oh, you're welcome, or thank you. And then we'd shake hands, and I'd keep going. Right. Yeah. And perhaps the guy he was with, the young guy, might recognize me. Because he uh -huh. looked at me a couple times, and I'm like, it was his nephew. His he might have recognized me. Yeah. So we're walking, and I, there's a fucking fat pig woman. And I don't know where she is now. But I hope that her fucking legs are caught in some type of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> to, to the fat lady that was in front of me as I was trying to get up to Joe Torrey. Yeah. You, you don't know who you are, but you might be listening right now, and I hope you're in a fucking... I hope you're in an escalator. <laughs> I hope an escalator has caved in and chewed your fucking fat legs and shins off. Pig lady. Despise you. Because I'm about to walk up to Joe, but this fucking slow... Uh -huh. Fucking molestation, fucking repressing compulsive eater yes. is in my way. And she finally fucking speeds her fucking pig legs up fast enough. And I get up next to Joe and I'm like, I'm like, you know, I, 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 as I said, Joe. He just stopped and turned to the right and walked into the men's room. He didn't <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. But he didn't, honest, I know he didn't hear me. He wasn't being rude. Oh. He literally. Of course that's the way it should have happened. He, oh, but you're, you're, but you're just standing there kind of like. J Dude, I, I, oh. I had my fucking, my, my fucking hand was out. I made oh. sure my right hand was free so I could fucking shake his. I switched fucking bag pulling hands to shake his hand. How oh, embarrassed were man. you? Even yeah, though no one was around to see this, it was perfect. I'm like, that's yeah. what should have. I was trumped by the urinal, of course. But he, uh, he I'm just, surprised you didn't go in there, dude. He he stopped, stopped, and made a sharp right. You've never seen anybody reverse. Why didn't you wait? Wow. Why didn't you wait outside the bathroom? That's too one of creepy. Moves. And I've already met him, and I also knew it would be obvious because the I, I, the guy he was with, I, again, I think might have uh, recognized me, and so I was like, it would have been too weird. Oh, that's great. So uh, yeah, that's how my Joe Torre oh, encounter oof, ended. Oof. With a, a hard turn into the bathroom. But he seemed nice. He was chatting with people, and uh, he yeah. seemed like a hell of a... You know, he, Joe Torrey is the one of, of all the guys I've met was one of the nicest. Kenny looks like he wants to talk. It's very obvious when he wants to yes. talk. Yes, can I, Kenny. Can I just say something real quick before you go to break? Yes. Remember Jack the cop who used to do the walk with us all the time? Yes. Well, he's been busting his ass for the last four years, and he's graduating law school this Friday. Wow. Wow. And he would love if we could give him a shout out of congratulations. Well, yeah. congratulations, you know, sir. Th this Friday the 13th, he's graduating. You know, the same day as the Anti Social Network <laughs> show in Washington, D.C. Oh. Kenny, I didn't know that. Yeah. Tickets on sale now. <laughs> Kenny's very good. Tickets. He is. 
All right? But congratulations yes. to Jack, and get your fucking tickets. Thank congratulations, you. Congratulations, right. Jack. Right on to Jack. As Nick Nolte said, you went from our side to their side. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Q&A. <laughs> we are going to break here. Jimmy's back for a day or two. I'm back.